Hello and welcome to episode 288 of Geeking Out. I am your host, Jim Volker, and last week you had the choice between Pandora and the Crimson Shell or Chiro. And this week you chose Pandora and the Crimson Shell, which means Chiro goes on to next week, but if it doesn't get voted in, it goes to episode 290, where it will be reviewed with all the other books that haven't been reviewed yet. All right. So, let's get into the review, shall we? This is Pandora in the Crimson Shell, Volume 1, Ghostern, written by Masamune Shiro, with art by Kyoshi Rikudo. When Nene, a cybernetically enhanced girl next door, heads to the island metropolis of Sanadical to live with her aunt, she has no way of knowing what's in store for her. A chance meeting intertwines her fate with that of the super-rich inventor, Delilah Uzel, and her adorable and grumpy companion, Clarion, who happens to be a so cyborg just like Nene. Nene is thrilled to make a new friend, but there's more to Uzel and Clarion and the island of Sanakul itself than meets the eye. When a superpowered terrorist threatens Sanakul, Uzel claims that the only way to avert disaster is for Nene to team up with Clarion and use their combined powers with abilities Nene never even knew she had. All right, so that's what happens in this first volume of Pandora and the Crimson Shell. Now let's get into the plus and minuses of the situation. All right, so I'll start with the pluses. Uh, this book has some dynamic kinetic art, uh, fun characters, and some a very interesting premise with some technology that is interesting, but unfortunately not really talked about. Um, I do really enjoy the character designs here. It's a little bit of a mix between Shiro and uh, the creator of XL Saga, uh, Rudo Kushi, uh, Rikudo Kushi, sorry. Um, and I, I do like the characters, but they are not very in depth. All right. As for the bad side, there, this book just really isn't very funny. Uh, I know they're trying to write it off as a comedy, but to me, the whole lollicon thing is not funny, and the sexual style nature of it just doesn't work for me. Um, compared to something like uh, Shiro's own Dominion Tank Police, this isn't funny at all. Uh, way too, there's way too much lollicon content in this. It's supposed to be for teens but it feels like it's going skewing a bit higher than that. Uh, and it really doesn't feel like a, a Masamune Shiro creation. I mean, this creator has done so many masterpieces, this just feels phoned in and cliché. Uh, honestly, when you think about his history, you've got Appleseed, you've got Orion, you've got Ghost in the Shell, and then there's this. So, honestly, I cannot understand why someone with the talent of Shiro can't write a compelling story here. Uh, there's really not enough focus on the technology and how it works. It just seems there to move along the plot. And unlike most Shiro stories, uh, where tech is explored and explained in great detail. If you've read Ghost in the Shell, you know that for a fact. Um, honestly though, if you are interested in reading or seeing what this story is, uh, you can watch the first five or six episodes for free on YouTube, legally. Uh, they are released by Funimation, so I'll provide the link link down below and you can check it out for yourself if you can't find a copy of the manga. Alright, so for next week's review, uh, you will have the choice between the returning uh, Chiro Volume 1 and the Canadian 
spirit leaves number one. All right, so we will see you next week. Have a good one. Be sure to vote down below for what you'd like to see reviewed next week. Spirit Leaves, number one, or Chiro, volume one.